This gourd is a vegetable when it's young and a sponge when it's ripe. In this episode of Growing Gourds, we will be looking at growing sponge gourds. Now sponge gourds are known by a lot of different names as you can see here. The sponge gourd is another prolific gourd to grow in your garden and you can get a lot of gourds out of uh, just a couple of plants. So we're harvesting this sponge gourd right now. And remember that all sponge gourds must be harvested when they are really young. As the gourd develops and matures into a ripe fruit, it gets spongy and fibrous just like the other gourds. So just make sure you harvest them young and that way you can get the best flavor out of the gourds and not get a fibrous gourd. A common question that has been asked by a lot of viewers about growing gourds is how does it taste like and what do you make out of these gourds? Well the taste is a little hard to describe but I would say the closest that gourds come to tasting like is a zucchini. Probably the closest in my opinion. And the way you cook it is you need to cook it thoroughly with some spices and some other ingredients like lentils for example and I do not have any recipes for you as of now for how to cook gourds but I'm sure that if you search online you'll be able to find a lot of recipes using different types of gourds so in the gourds area the sponge gourd was one of the first gourds to arrive along with some of the other gourds and the best part about growing sponge gourds was that they kept producing late through the season. It was almost winter when I took off all my gourds that were growing but the sponge gourd was still producing even when the nights were really cold. So definitely a very prolific variety that you can grow. So I know a lot of uh, our viewers do grow gourds in their garden. So I'd like to know from you, how many types of these gourds have you grown? Have you grown sponge gourd before? Maybe you call it with a different name. Do let us know what you call it and how do you cook it? And what has been your experience in growing different types of gourds? We would love to hear from you and I'm sure that all our subscribers would love to hear your opinion on growing gourds. And what makes goats so interesting is that they are known by so many different names around the world. So you might be calling it something else. Maybe you are growing goats that look similar but may just be of a different variety. So as you can see after the harvest these goats are near perfect. Almost no imperfections, no insects on these goats, no diseases. Absolutely perfect goats. And this is what is the best part about growing gourds. It is resistant to so many insects and diseases that you will have an abundant crop in your garden. So this is how the gourds look like after harvest. And let's see how the gourds look like after cutting. So this gourd is not fibrous at all as you can see. It's very tender from the inside. And this is how your gourd should look like. If you wait it too long, they get hard and fibrous. So this was our final video on growing gourds and we covered sponge gourds. So I hope you liked this video. This completes our five part series on growing gourds and I hope you enjoyed watching the different types of gourds and would try to grow some of these gourds in your garden. And I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.